The symptoms of a stroke can be pretty subtle and are often easy to ignore until it's too late. However, if promptly diagnosed, some of the stroke itself can be reversed with therapy that breaks up the blood clots that often cause stroke. But that means identifying the symptoms and getting to a hospital that offers therapy immediately. Philip Stieg is a neurosurgeon at New York Presbyterian Hospital, a nationally ranked center of excellence. The major problem that we have in dealing with stroke is that the public is not aware and they do not seek medical attention rapidly enough when they do have a stroke. Stroke is not as simple as a single set of symptoms. The part of the brain that's affected, that will be where you manifest the stroke symptoms. The first step is to know if you're a good candidate to have a stroke. These are the key risks. Heavy smoker, strong family history, diabetes, high cholesterol, overweight, high blood pressure. Step two, know the subtle signs. Loss of vision in an eye, loss of speech, loss of motor function, loss of sensory function, loss of coordination, loss of facial function, loss of speech and swallowing. Step three, get an immediate evaluation. Your doctor will listen to your carotid artery for sounds that it is narrowed. The next step may be a carotid ultrasound which bounces sound waves off the inside of this blood vessel to look for narrowing. If it's more than 60%, an MR angiogram or CT angiogram may be ordered. With a high degree of blockage, there is a benefit to opening up that blood vessel. The procedure is called an end arterectomy, which removes the blockage, or it can also be done with a balloon that breaks up and pushes the blockage aside and then replaces it with a sleeve called a stent. Because we're using intraoperative EEG monitoring, smaller incisions, and better anesthetics, we can get you discharged from the hospital, home to your loved ones much more rapidly. Choose a surgeon who does 50 end arterectomies a year with a total death and complication rate of less than 3%. The key is paying close attention to your symptoms and then acting as quickly as possible. Time is critically important. Review your risk factors with your doctor and the symptoms so that you'll recognize them. If these symptoms continue more than a few minutes, worsen, or you have new symptoms that appear, you'll want to call 911 to be transported to the nearest stroke center as quickly as possible. You only have three hours until the stroke begins to become permanent. It's incredibly important for you to get to our emergency room quickly after you've experienced the stroke so that we can get the IVTPA into your system within three hours of the event. This will break open the clot and can save your life and your brain. After examination in the emergency room, these are the appropriate tests. First of all, a CAT scan. You should have this CAT scan as quickly as possible to look for bleeding in the brain. The CAT scan is the best way to see the blood in the brain. If there isn't any bleeding, doctors give a clot-busting drug to break up the blockage that causes the stroke. The next test is an MRI that's given after the TPA. This determines if the blood vessel is still closed off or if it's opened up. If that shows that your blood vessel is closed off, we use this clot retriever to pull the clot out of the blood vessel, thereby opening it up so that normal blood flow is returned to your brain. This is done using a snare, which is threaded through blood vessels in the brain to retrieve the clot. Stroke takes almost everybody by surprise. You have to do your homework ahead of time to be able to recognize the simple signs such as slurred speech or acute imbalance and immediately react by getting to a hospital that has clot-busting therapy and specialized care of stroke.